well last week google just revealed their android p developer preview part 1 and today in this video i'll show you how you can get the android p features on any of the android phones out there so let's get started Well, the first one is quite simple. Installing a basic launcher identical to Android P. So this launcher is known as Pixel Launcher for Android P, and it is not available in Play Store, but it is available in a website known as XDA Developers, which might many people know about that. And this launcher provides a unique feature of Android P, such as bumping it like this at the bottom or at the top, and this is uh, similarly identical to the android o version but there are quite a number of identical changes made in this launcher just to get that feel of android p don't worry i'll have the links in the description so even you can get this launcher and show off your android p skills so android p supports notches it provides an animation at the top of your phone and you will get a notch feel on your android device and even this can be done on your normal android phone by just installing an application known as xrf10 the links will be in the description and i got this application from play store just open this application and just click on start and you will get to see a notch about your android device and you can change the dimensions or the size of this notch easily by just clicking on the change dpi button hope this even brings a look of android p on your normal device so the third one is also quite simple and when i got this application directly from from play store and this application is known as android p wallpapers it eventually gets all the android piece wallpaper here and this application is still in beta process and you might not get the full application of full wallpapers there are only few selected wallpapers here of the android piece since google has only left the first developer preview there might be no wallpapers in the first preview there were only quite a number of wallpapers but once after all the previews come out even the app gets updated and you can get android piece wallpaper on this application so the next one is quite interesting and android p supports screenshot editor soon after you take a screenshot you will get a quite a number of options to edit your screenshot to crop it or to draw pictures on that and in your normal android device you can do this by installing an application known as screenshot editor i got this application directly from play store don't worry links will be in the description i'll take a normal screenshot of my phone and you need to wait for a few seconds yes now you'll get to edit the screenshot directly there will be three buttons and you can edit it directly as you want you can draw stuffs or you can crop it you can do whatever with it really you will enjoy this application uh, once after you install it even this application is free and free to download from play store the last thing you need to fake your friends or to cheat your friends by saying i have got the android p latest version is by just showing the android version as 9.0 on your device instead of what you are using now this can be easily changed by an application known as android p 9.0 and in this application the application redirects you to a settings icon a separate settings icon will be launched and just click on the settings icon and you will get to see a normal settings page here the about phone will be directly in 9.0 i'll show you look at this 
the version of android is 9.0 yeah and by this way you can show your friends that you are officially using android p or android 9.0 on your device and even you can make the seven time tap but really <laughs> but the image is not that good here since it's the first developer preview <laughs> it shows something like this so don't worry you can also edit the app using apk editor and many of the people know how to do that so i'll not tell how to just go out there and you can do your own stuff well that is pretty much it guys hope you have liked the video if you have liked the video you know what to do leave a like subscribe to the channel i never miss out for any of the future updates until then this is simon signing out